German Defense Minister Karl Theodor zu Gutenberg might be about to succeed where Gerhard Schröder's Social Democrat and Green Party coalition failed. Here he's visiting the troops at the Weissenfels army base in eastern Germany and explaining that he wants a reform of the German armed forces, including an end to compulsory military service. That's nothing short of a revolution, even when it's being played down and referred to as structural reform. This is structural reform that we need to adopt and will adopt, because we need to structure the Bundeswehr so it's not a funeral procession, but an army that's fit for the coming decades, with a strong security policy foundation and first-rate soldiers. This new and improved Bundeswehr will no longer include compulsory military service. In the future, the German armed forces will be made up of volunteers only. The total number of troops will be reduced by one-third to some 170,000 soldiers. Gutenberg is also planning to cut Germany's defense budget, aiming to save a total of around 8.3 billion euros by 2014. But representatives of the soldiers are not impressed. In the past, we've seen that permanently underfinanced forces are not very helpful. It's like trying to squeeze water out of a dry sponge. But members of the governing coalition and the opposition welcome the prospect of a volunteer army. As Free Democrats, we still believe that an end to compulsory military service is the right answer to Germany's unfair conscription system. If Defense Minister Gutenberg means what he says, then he has our backing. If we're contemplating a defense reform, then of course the first step would be to end compulsory military service. It would mark the end to a 50-year-old system. When conscription was introduced in 1956, it triggered a political controversy. Only a decade after the end of World War II, Germany once again had armed forces. I would like to claim for myself that I, like many others here, oppose war. But, ladies and gentlemen, we need to be realistic about the world. The 1950s saw the dawning of the Cold War era. West Germany allied itself with the US and the NATO military alliance. But times have changed. These days, the Bundeswehr is deployed on peacekeeping missions around the world. The defense minister is keen to ensure it's as well equipped as possible. He's less concerned about the debate within his party ranks over his proposed reforms. Regional CDU politicians fear there may be repercussions in upcoming elections, especially if army bases start shutting down. I believe my proposal is very sound and well-founded. This has nothing to do with political campaigning. It's about making the Bundeswehr fit for the next 15 to 20 years. We owe that to our troops and to the people of this country. That's the justification. Defense Minister Gutenberg has accomplished his mission here in Weissenfels. As he tours the base, he continues to outline his hopes for what he calls structural reform. But what he's talking about is actually a revolution, and they rarely happen overnight.